thanks for joining me in this tutorial session on the topic kinematics so in this video we are going to be solving a question that featured in the cameroon gc june 2021 pure math with mechanics paper 3 so it was the very first question on the paper and uh, we are going to solve the, the question today all right so for those who have subscribed to the channel we thank you for for your subscription for those who have not yet subscribed to the channel and be able to subscribe after watching this video share the video to your friends um, if the video is good you, you like the video and also comment on the video all right so let's get started with the question so you, as you can see the question is being displayed to you and the question with a particle p of unit mass is moving in a horizontal plane under the action of a force f at time t seconds where f is equal to 3t squared minus 40 times um, the i direction plus 6t minus 5 in the j direction newtons given that p passes through a point a with velocity 11i plus 10j meters per second after 3 seconds find a the acceleration of p f at time t seconds b the velocity of p at time t seconds c the kinetic energy of p when it is when it is moving parallel to the vector i another particle q moves in the, in the same straight in the same straight path as p with velocity 3i plus 4j meters per second finally d determine the velocity of p relative to q at t equal to 2 seconds all right so we are going to begin solving the first part of the equation now it's asking us to find the acceleration of the particle p at time t seconds so how do we find the acceleration now we, we we know the relationship between the force of the particle p and its acceleration so the force of the particle p is equal to its mass times its acceleration it means the acceleration is equal to the force divided by the mass but according to the equation they told us that the particle p has a unit mass meaning the mass is equal to one kilogram so the the acceleration would just be equal to the force it's very important to include the units now b is asking us to find the velocity of the particle p at time t seconds so we know that the velocity of a particle is equal to the integral of the acceleration with respect to time because the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time all right so with that we just integrate the acceleration which is 3t squared minus 40 i plus 60 minus 5 j with respect to time now to integrate it we um, separate the i and the j components and we integrate separately now integrating 3t 3t squared we get 3t cube on 3 the 3 cancels we get t cube integrating 40 we get 40 squared on 2 4 on 2 is 2 so we get 2t squared now that's in the i direction integrating 60 we get 6t squared on 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 2 6 on 2 is 3 so we get 3t squared and integrating 5 we get um 5t that's in the j direction since these are indefinite integrals we need to add a constant of integration let's say k now we have been told that well, that the particle p passes through the point a with velocity 11 i plus 10 j after 3 seconds so we are going to use that initial condition to find the the value of the constant of integration so just equating 11 i plus 10 j then replacing t with 3 seconds we get the the the, the constant of integration by um bringing like terms together and subtracting all right so our constant of integration if you do it very well is going to give you 2i minus 2j so it means that what that our velocity in terms of t i just come back here and replace 2i minus 2j and then i bring the i terms together and the j terms together so i'm just going to simply take t cube minus 2t squared plus the i component of my constant of integration which is 2 and then i take 3t squared minus 5t minus the constant of integration here minus the, the j component that's minus 2 all right so this expression gives us the velocity of the particle p in terms of t okay the c part is saying that we should find the kinetic energy of p when it is parallel when it is moving parallel to the vector i so when it's um, a particle said to be moving parallel to the vector i means it is moving parallel to the x-axis that's it so moving parallel to the x-axis it means that the, the y component is zero so the y component means zero means that what my view will just be i'll just be left with the x component which is t cube minus 
2 t squared plus 2 and then i indicate the direction all right so the v of y equal to 0 means that what well, this is my v of y the the, the j component 3 t squared minus 5 t minus 2 equal to 0 i can factorize i'm going to get 3 t plus 1 times t minus 2 equal to 0 equating each bracket to 0 the first i'm going to have t to be negative 1 third and the second i'm going to get t to be 2 but we are dealing with time and time is positive so it means i'm just going to take the positive value so t is equal to 2 seconds so having t as 2 seconds i, I, I can find the, the, the velocity of my particle is going to be 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 but 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared is 0 because 2 times 2 squared is 2 cubed then plus 2 in the i direction so my velocity is 2 i meters per second all right so the kinetic energy which is what we are looking for is half times the mass times the, the speed of the particle squared but the speed is just the absolute value or the magnitude of the velocity all right so the magnitude of 2i is just 2 so it means my kinetic energy is half times 2 squared joules which is 2 joules finally we have another particle cure which moves in the same straight path as p with velocity 3i plus 4j meters per second now, Z part is asking us to determine the velocity of P relative to Q at time T at time T equal to 2 seconds. So the velocity of, of P relative to Q, I can call it capital V, is just the velocity of P minus the velocity of Q at time 2 seconds. But at time 2 seconds, I see that what my velocity of, of the velocity of my particle P is just equal to 2i. Because um, here we even had 2 seconds. So refitting refitting two seconds here we see that everything here is going to give us zero because two satisfies two is a root of this quadratic equation so we are just going to be left with fitting two here to get two i at the end so we replace the respective values my v of p is two i minus three plus four i meters per second so we simplify and we get the velocity of pure relative to cure at time t equal to two seconds to be negative i minus four g meters per second